All right, welcome back flute class. I hope you enjoyed that awesome flute video from Brittany Foster as much as I did. And now I'm gonna tell you what you need to do to prepare for tomorrow's live class flute class. Now, we're gonna go over tomorrow some basic notes and flute positions. Uh, some of you are new to the flute, some of you have played before. So we're gonna do a basic review for everybody because even those of you who played before, it's probably been a while uh, since we had music class together. So tomorrow we're going over basic notes and flute positions, but you do not need a flute yet. Some of you I know already have a flute at home. Some of you don't have a flute yet, that's fine either way. Tomorrow we're not gonna use those flutes yet. Here's what you will need though. You will need either a full length, pencil, you know, not like a really, really short one, but one that's still pretty long, or a ruler, and that's what we're gonna use to practice some of our flute position exercises. Then you will also need either some blank uh, flashcards like this, or if you don't have flashcards, that's okay. You could just bring some blank paper. We can fold it and rip it apart into little cards, or you could bring a pair of scissors if you want to cut them apart. But if you have the flashcards already like this, that's great. And then, last but not least, if you could have a marker, that will help us also to play our music note games for tomorrow. So here's again what you need. Uh, full length pencil or ruler, uh, blank paper or flashcards and a marker. Now, to complete today's lesson, you are gonna go back into Google Classroom and you'll see that there is a Google form that is gonna be your exit ticket. It's like the bottom of your assignment. There's a video, a video, a video, and a little Google form. You click on the Google form, you answer a few questions for me, your name and what your instrument is. It's a flute. And then uh, you're gonna tell me one thing that you learned from these video lessons or something cool that you remember. And and then you are going to do a little upload of a video for me. Now, in this video, it's gonna be super easy. This video should be like maximum 30 seconds. It's gonna be a video of you just introducing yourself and showing me what materials you got ready for tomorrow's live class. So it's gonna be like this. This is my video. Hey, I'm Mrs. Miranda, and uh, to for tomorrow's class, I got ready my uh, ruler, I got a pencil, I got my marker, and I have my flashcards. See you guys tomorrow. And then that's it. You stop the video, you upload it onto that Google form, and you submit it to me. Now we're doing this for a couple reasons. Number one, of course, I just want you to get ready for class tomorrow, get all your stuff together so we can have a really fun online class and you don't have to spend time getting all your materials together then. But also this is practice for you to take a video and upload it for me because that's the main way that you guys are gonna be able to eventually do different playing assignments for me. Because if we were in live class, you would just play the song for me, but we're online. So you're gonna get to play those songs on a little video and send them to me and I'm gonna get to give you feedback and tell you you know, how great you're doing or what you can work on to get better at those notes if you're having trouble at the beginning. I'll be able to give you individualized feedback. So this is a little practice for us to take a video and upload it. And that's it for today. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions or any problems with the upload or anything, don't stress yourself. Just send me an email and I'll help you out. Bye guys.